Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Beloved, today we will try to understand a very important word from the Bible as we read the book of John chapter 14 verse 13. The New Testament King James Version Bible. Here it says, Whatsoever that the Father may be glorified in the Son. Yes, beloved, as the book of John is full of encouragement, as the word from John 1, 1 itself says, In the beginning was the word, the word was with God, and the word is God. Yes, beloved, as we read, the word is spirit, the word is life. The words are true, as we read in John 6, verse 63. The word is proven, the word is flawless, beloved. Yes, and the word is truth, as we read in Revelation chapter 19. Yes, the word is living, beloved. Yes. So let us make, a, make it a point to read the Bible every day and to pray. Let it go hand in hand. We will find answers to all our questions in the word of God, beloved. For the word is life. Yes, beloved. Here, as we are trying to understand our everyday request, do we pray for his glory? Let us ask ourselves. This is the privilege and the possibility for every man who can speak to God in his name. Yes, beloved, in the Lone Star Mission at Ongo, a faithful few had held on believing and courageously year after year. Now the mission was about to be abandoned. The work had apparently failed. Money had failed and the only hope now was God. Many times in a life it happens that money is over. Every resource is are over, but the hope is there. Trust the Lord at all times, Psalm 62 verse 8. The word is saying to you and to me, trust the Lord at all times. Dr. Chowat and his wife took with them the women whose name was Julia, nearly 100 years of age, and ascended the hills above Ongol to ask God to save the Lone Star Mission and the lost souls of the place. Yes, as they mingle their tears with the description and the most important and most thrilling moment of the life, the memorable sunrise meeting on prayer meeting hill as they rehearse the story one night in Nellore to Dr. Cortland Myers. They all prayed and they all believed. They talked and they then prayed again. They wrestled before heaven's throne and the face of heathen world like Elisha on caramel. At last the day dawned, just as the sun rose above the horizon. Dr. Jowett arose out of the darkness and seemed to see a great light. He lifted his hand heavenward and turned his tear-stained face towards the great heart of love. He declared that his vision saw the cactus field below transform into a church and mission building. Amen. Isn't that a great vision? Yes. For when we pray, yes, we are speaking to God. And when we read the Bible, God is speaking to us. Let it go hand in hand. Remember, beloved, Micah 7.7 7 says that I will look to the Lord. I will wait and he will answer my prayer. He will surely answer your prayer. For he is the God of living, not the dead. And all live to him. Luke 20 verse 38. When he is promised, he will do it. For he is faithful to his promise, as we read in Exodus 12, 25, Hebrews 10, 23, and as we read in Joshua 21, verse 45, it says what he has promised. Yes, nothing failed. It was done. Yes, beloved. For we read in Hebrews 13, verse 8, he is the same yesterday, today, and forever. What he has told you, he will do it. And how do we know what he is speaking to us? We have to read the Bible and he will speak to us directly. Whatsoever your questions may be, he will answer you, beloved. And nothing can stop what God has ordained for you. Remember this word from Isaiah 14 verse 27. Yes, for as we are yet speaking, he will hear. And as we pray, he will answer. Isaiah 65 verse 24. Yes, for he will lead us, guide us, help us, counsel us and watch over us. Let us no way become like a horse or a mule or his word will not keep with us. Psalm 32 verse 8. Yes, he is the maker of heaven and earth, beloved. Psalm 121. As the word says, I lift up my eyes to the hills. From whence does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, who is the maker of heaven and earth. And he will not let your foot be moved. The words are true, beloved. Once he has said it, he will do it. And 
He knows us even before we were formed in the womb. The words are true, beloved, as we read the mighty word from Jeremiah chapter 1. Yes, the promise for you and me for this year is he knows our thoughts. This is the prophecy for this year that he will also bless us. For he knows our thoughts. He has plans of future hope, prosperity, welfare, peace and also of hope for you and me. He will do it, beloved. The word is saying to you and to me from Jeremiah 31 verse 16, 17. It says that refrain from weeping for his plans and a future for our hope. And also it's a saying that make your hands strong. The words are true, beloved. Yes, for what he's planned, he will do it. For he's loved us with everlasting love. Jeremiah 31. Yes, verse 3. Yes, beloved. And also, whatever are our requirements for today, well, whether it is the food or whether it is deliverance from addiction, whether it is healing, he will heal us. For with the wounds and the stripes that he suffered for us, he heals us. Isaiah 53. We read the mighty word in verse 5, beloved. Yes, the words are true. Yes, and also he is there next to us. The word says, be strong, be courageous. Deuteronomy 31 verse 6, the word says, do not be afraid. Do not be frightened. Yes, fear the not, for I am with thee. Isaiah 41 verse 10. And he will never leave us nor forsake us. Deuteronomy 31 verse 6 and Joshua 1 verse 9. And remember, beloved, in all these things we are more than conquerors. As we read the mighty word, it is speaking to us from Romans 8 verse 37. Yes, be encouraged today and every day. For the word says, draw near to me and I will draw near to you. Zechariah 1 verse 3. Yes, make it a point to read the Bible every day. As we read in Revelation chapter 1, it says in verse 3, He who reads and he who hears, both of them are blessed. Yes, let us read the word of God. Yes, and also receive the blessings in abundance. As it says, he will bless us abundantly. As we read in Psalm 36, verse 8. Yes, beloved. And always say, Thy will be done. John 6, verse 38. He is the gate. He who enters will find pastures inside, outside. Yes, the words are true. And also, yes, he will be in safety. The words are true, beloved. Yes, he is a confidence. As the word says in Isaiah 30, we read the mighty word. In return and rest shall be your safety and quietness and confidence shall be your strength. The words are true. And he says to you and to me, as we read in Isaiah 43 verse 4, the word says, you are precious in my sight, you are honored, I love you. God is saying to you and to me, yes, and the word is saying, he will give men in exchange for us. He is a mighty God. He can do everything and none of his purpose can be withheld from him. The words are true, beloved, as we read in Job 42 verse 2. As the same kind of situation is over here, as we are trying to understand the mission on go. Yes, his faith grasped grasped and gripped the great fact. He claimed the promise and challenged God to answer a prayer that was entirely for his own glory and salvation of men. The money came immediately and clearly from God's hand. He will perform the miracles, beloved. He will provide all your needs for he is the Yahweh Ray. Genesis 22 verse 14 and Genesis 22 verse 17 says, In blessing, I will bless you. It is true, beloved. Remember that God is right now present over here to bless you, not tomorrow, not the day after tomorrow, but right now. He will heal you of your sickness right now. For with the wounds and the stripes that he suffered for us, he heals us. Isaiah 53 verse 5 is true. So be healed right now. And he's a banner, he's a issue to see. As read the mighty word, Isaiah 11 verse 10. Yes, beloved. And also, he is our shepherd and he will wipe away every tear and he will lead us to the living waters. He is a Yahweh Roi. Yes, beloved. As we read in Revelation chapter 7, verse 10 and 13. Yes, it says to you 10 and 17 verses say of Revelation 7. As we read the mighty word, it says he is a salvation. And all the flesh will know that he is my redeemer and my salvation. The words are true. Isaiah 49, verse 26. For those who hope in him will not be disappointed. Isaiah 49, verse 23. Yes, beloved. As the situation may come in all of our lives where we have no money, no prospect, no future, but Jesus Christ is there with us. Yes, he has brought us in this world and there is a purpose. So do not quit, my dear sister, my dear brother. Be encouraged. Do not commit suicide nor give up any hope in life for Jesus Christ is next to you and to me. And he will carry us even in a gray hair and old age as read in Isaiah 46 
verse 4, For from the beginning he knows the end, as a 46 verse 10. Yes, beloved, the man, God's choice, came immediately as we are trying to understand the situation here at the mission on go. And clearly it was the God that Dr. Klo was called to put new life and hope in almost abundant mission. Today, on that very cactus field stands the Christian church with largest membership of any church on earth, 20,000 members and more. And if it had not been divided by necessity, there would have been 50,000 members and more, the greatest miracle of modern missionary work. On that well-nigh abundant field, Dr. Klaw baptized 10,000 persons in one year and 2,222 in one day. Prayer meeting hill moved the throne of God and made the world to tremble. The battlements of heaven must have been crowded to watch these many working of a prayer for his glory. Yes, beloved, prayer can do anything. Yes, we have to only believe the word says in Mark 5 verse 36. It says we are not only believe Mark 5 verse 36. Yes, I am as witness and I want you to experience the same joy, happiness, blessings and this is free of cost. The word says only believe Mark 5 verse 36. As we read in Mark 11 verse 24 also, ask and you shall receive. The important point is believe that you have received and you will receive it. Many of the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him of them all. The words are true as we read in Psalm 34 verse 19. Yes, beloved, the word is speaking to you and to me from Proverbs 6 verse 22. It says, as we sleep, the word, word, yes, the living word, yes, that is the Bible words, it will keep you. As you are awake, it will speak to you. And as you roam, it will guide you. Jesus Christ is our loving friend. Yes, for the word says, do not put your trust in man or princes or horses. As we read the mighty word, it is true, beloved. As we read in the Psalms, it says that man is but a breath in his nostrils. The words are true, Isaiah chapter 2. Let us trust in the Lord at all times. Psalm 62 verse 8. For all my springs come from him. The words are true, Psalm 87 verse 7. Yes, whatever are your requirements, whether it is wisdom, my dear children, my dear youth, for your examination, Jesus Christ will bless you. For the word is true as we read in James 1 verse 5, if any of you lack wisdom, let him ask God that give it to all men liberally and abrogate not. Yes, also he will be the chief guest of our house as we invite him in our house, Revelation 3.20. He will come and sup with us. He will fill us with joy. For the joy of the Lord is my strength, Nehemiah 8.10. And remember, beloved, for us to live is Christ and die is gain, Philippians 1.21. So be encouraged for 365 times in the Bible it is written, fear thou not. Yes, for he hates cowardness, a living God hates cowardness, as we read in Revelation chapter 19. Yes, beloved, so let us be encouraged today and put up the armor of God, as we read in Ephesians chapter 6 verse 11, that is the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, the belt of truth, the shield of faith, the sword of the Old Testament, New Testament, King James Version Bible, and the shoes of sandals of gospel of peace. peace. Let us be ready, and the battle is the Lord's. Yes, as we read in 1 Samuel 17, 47, and the victory rests with the mighty God, Proverbs 21, verse 31. And he's already gone ahead of us, and he's already sent us, as we read in Judges 4, 14, and Judges 6, 14. What else do we require? Everything is planned for us, and the victory is with our mighty God. We have to just put our hope and our faith in him. Yes, and also, beloved, the commandment given to you and to me is love one another, as we read in John Chapter 15, verse 12. Yes, beloved, the words are true. Yes, we have to love one another. An important point, yes. And we have to love a living God with all our heart, mind, soul and strength. As we read in John chapter 14. And the word says, ask and he shall receive. John 14, 14. And it says that what God requires from us, we have to love him with all our heart, mind, soul and strength. Fear him and obey him. As we read in Deuteronomy 10, verse 12. And the blessings is in Job 36 verse 11 as we read, when we obey him and fear him, we will have prosperity all our days and pleasure all our life. We all require prosperity, isn't it? For the words are true, yes. As we meditate on the word of God and as we trust him, we will have wealth and riches in our house as we read in Psalm 112 verse 3. And the word says in Isaiah 45 verse 7, I form light, I create darkness, and I create disaster, and I bring prosperity. I am the Lord God who does all these things. He is Almighty God, beloved. Yes, as we read in Matthew 28, it says that every authority and power belongs to him, to a living God. Yes, he is the omnipotent God who reigns. Revelation chapter 19, verse 6. 
Yes, and the evil spirits and demons shuddered in the name of Yeshua Masiha, as we read in Matthew 28. And he's told us, I am with you till the end of the age. Hallelujah. So, let us be joyous today and be filled with joy. And remember, in blessings, he will bless us. De Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 17. And the blessing is there for you and to me, as Jesus Christ is there with us all the time. And God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, Yeshua Masiha, on the cross for us, that whosoever believeth should not perish, but have everlasting life. John 3.16 Remember, beloved, the blessing for you and me from Deuteronomy 7.14.15 Thou shalt be blessed above all people, and thou shalt be free of all diseases. Explore the Bible. Read the word of God. Be encouraged. Grow in the word of God. Yes, every day. And be fruitful and be blessed. My dear sister, the word is blessing you. Yes, it says no, there will be nobody better in your land and you will have the full lifespan. Exodus 23, verse 26. Yes, and the word says in Psalm 68, there are 20,000 chariots for each one of us. There are angels surrounding each one of us. As we read in Psalm 68, verse 18, let us bless the name of the Lord for he daily loads us with benefits. Psalm 68, verse 19. And Psalm 92, verse 2 says, we thank you, Lord. Yes, for your faithfulness at night and loving kindness in the morning. For he is a loving father, as we read in Isaiah 63, 64. We are his clay and his, he is a potter, Isaiah 64, verse 8, beloved. And he is a loving mother also, as he comforted us as a loving mother. The words are true, Isaiah 66, verse 13. I have experienced these words practically. Yes, I want you also to receive the blessings abundantly. Yes, for all his promises are ya and amen. In the name of Lord Jesus Christ, as read in 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 20. Be blessed today and every day. God bless you. As read in Numbers chapter 6, verse 24. Yes, do like and subscribe the channel. Arise and shine. Alfred Rathod and Family USA. This is Dr. Mrs. Alfred James Rathod speaking for the channel Arise and Shine. As Jesus Christ has called me to be a prophetess, evangelist and priest. I am here in his service. As it says, as for me and my house will serve the Lord. Joshua 24 verse 15. Yes, and this voice is for his service. And also as we say, for us to live is Christ and die is gain. As read in Philippians 1 21. For I can do all things in Christ who strengthens me. Philippians 4 verse 13. And the word is blessing you and me. It says, yes. My God will provide all your needs in the glorious riches of Yeshua Masiha, as we read in Philippians 4 verse 19. Be blessed today and every day, beloved. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah.